Want to buy in one of the fastest growing suburbs over the last five years in Atlanta? Keep watching as we explore Sugar Hill and don't miss out on an area of Sugar Hill you may want to avoid. Let's do it. What's going on everyone? Jonathan McCoy here with Keller Williams Realty, Chattahoochee North, and I am Atlanta's Real McCoy. I've got people just like you reaching out to me and asking where in Atlanta they should move to. Well, there are so many good options to choose from and depending on your likes, must-haves, your work location, and your budget, that will determine which area is the best fit for you. I've done a number of videos on different suburbs around Atlanta, and today we take a look at Sugar Hill. Now before we start, I wanted to say sorry for being late with posting this video. I was supposed to get it out yesterday, but while out working for my clients, my tire decided to blow out on my car. And then while putting on the spare, my shoe also decided to blow out as well. I guess it was just feeling left out. So, Getting all that handled kind of put a delay on things, but everything's all good now, and we are back, so here we go. Located just under 40 miles northeast of Atlanta and nestled between Buford and Suwannee, you will find Sugar Hill. Having a really big jump in population over the last five years, Sugar Hill has really taken off, and at its center is the wonderful e-center at Sugar Hill. With that in mind, we start off with the city center. When I walked around this the other day, I thought that this may be the best thought out city center I have seen. It's not the biggest downtown area, but it is so well done and boasts a lot to do in a small area. For those looking for a place to have a quiet, relaxing walk, read a book or go on a date, this city center has you covered. There's this area around the pond, there are fountains, plenty of places to sit and relax. For the kids, there's a great splash pad with a few shaded areas put up for kids and adults. Adjacent from the splash pad is a nice grass area and city hall. Then also next to it might be the coolest outdoor stage and amphitheater that the city center has in all of Metro Atlanta. Sugar Hill calls their amphitheater the bowl. Unlike other city centers, the entertainment here does cost money so you will need to buy tickets. For more entertainment, you can also find the Eagle Theater. The theater has an Art Deco look characterized by the geometric shapes, rich colors, and exquisite gold accents. With 406 seats, the Eagle is perfect for intimate performances as well as traveling shows. The Eagle Theater is home to the Players Guild at Sugar Hill and the Broad Street Concert Band. Also, throughout the year, there are $2 movies that are played on the second Tuesday of every month. A few other things that you can enjoy while around here are the Rushing Trade Company, which is a coffee house, fine eatery, and some fabulous brunch options, um, as well as a craft cocktail bar. Then there's also Nucky's Pizza and Hoagies, Central City Tavern, and Indio Brewing. As this area continues to grow, as I was walking around, I saw that there are other restaurants and eateries coming soon. What else does Sugar Hill have to offer? Well, there are wonderful parks within minutes of the E-Center. One's called E.E. E. Robbins Park. This park has lots of baseball fields, tennis courts, a football field, a soccer field, playground, and a splash pad. I have been told by a reliable source, my wife, that this is the best splash pad around. It has lots of fountains shooting up water, but they're not too strong for the little ones. In addition, they have an area for sitting and it's shaded for adults and kids alike. It's kind of strange to me, but there are a lot of splash pads out there that either don't have a lot of seating for adults or there's not a lot of shade. So well done, E.E. E. Robbins Park. A second park in Sugar Hill is Gary Perkle Park. At this park, you'll see a number of turf playing fields, which are really good shape. In addition, there are walking trails and a big playground area. The unique thing about this playground area is it's under a pavilion. This is a brilliant idea. Between being able to play while raining and having shade when it's bright and sunny outside and hot, which Georgia gets, 
Whoever did this needs to be applauded. I love when designers think out things like this park and actually think about using the park in a way that parents and kids and everybody alike can enjoy. As we continue on, you may be asking yourself, well, should I move here with my family? How are the schools? Should I buy a house here? Well, according to niche.com, they rank Sugar Hill as the number nine best place to raise a family in Georgia. They rank it as number 10 best place with the best public schools in Georgia and the 12th best suburb to buy a house in in Georgia. While I don't get too caught up into ranking, Sugar Hill does seem to get high praise from niche.com as well as a number of other resources I've come across. Also, the people I know that call Sugar Hill home just absolutely love living there. Let's jump into housing. A good thing about Sugar Hill is it is a little further out from Atlanta, which means you got more space. And that space is being bought up and you can find new construction in the area. For homes in Sugar Hill, the average sales price over the last 180 days has been $373,000. Here is a look at a house that is right around that price point. And you'll see it is a little bit newer because you get some newer builds in Sugar Hill. This house right here will give you a look at what you can get for that $373,000 price range. Sugar Hill has plenty of grocery options and is very close to both Buford and Swanee, which also offer lots of dining and shopping. With all the great things I've mentioned, there is one thing I want to point out. On the border of Sugar Hill is the Richland Creek Landfill. While the landfill has a Buford address, I do want to point it out. When buying a home in any area, it is always the responsibility of the buyer to research the area, and that includes finding out things like landfills nearby. You can see on the map the location of this landfill. So just be aware and know the area you are looking in. While I've been in the area of Sugar Hill plenty of times and plenty of times near the landfill, I've never really smelled that you know, landfill smell that gets all up in your nose and stuff, but could have just been on the days I'm visiting maybe, but I just want to point out so you can investigate for yourself if you're buying in the area. Sugar Hill is a cool town that is growing in value and size. Sugar Hill is just another one of the many suburbs surrounding Atlanta to choose from. If you have any specific questions about Sugar Hill, Georgia, please feel free to put them in the comment section below or contact me via email, phone, or text. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. I hope you found this video helpful. I post videos just like this one on Thursdays about living, working, playing, and breathing all things Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area. Thanks, and I will see you next time.